Okay, day seven is unlocking your power. I wanna first give a shout out to my daughter because it is because of her that I look this way. <laughs> I like looking nice, but I really, <laughs> this is a sidebar. I really do not like, I like comf comf comfortable, easy. I like looking nice, but I don't like to go out of my way to do it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, do I do I look clean? Do I smell clean? <laughs> do I look nice? You know, I like looking nice, but I like to be comfortable. Um, so what I have on is my daughter's uh, idea. So shout out to my daughter. Um, we're moving on to the next day. We're on day seven. And that is unlocking your power. So remember when I, I shared with you the story about um, Zeus, right? When he was trying to hide the power from his children or hide the power from the humans. He was trying to hide the power from somebody, okay? And um, he tried to hide it in different places and they said, oh, I know a perfect place to hide it. We'll hide it inside of them. Because that's the truth. And I think that that has been a, such a um, deception for so many decades, years, centuries, generations is not knowing our power. I think from my experience, and I think I can be safe to speak for a lot of us and valid reasons that we, our power really is not power, that our power um, was rooted in fear and fighting and um, backbiting and clapping back and um, defense mechanisms and cursing people out and you know that that was what I saw growing up you know a lot of the power was to prove something I did that that was so tiring to prove something and once again the the, the society pushes a lot of that puts a lot of emphasis and validation on that. Um, and um, that's what we show up as. Um, but it wasn't until I drowned out the noise and I was like, all these expectations of, of who y'all telling me that I should be, we gonna wipe all of that because it's killing me. It's killing me. It's time for me to unlock my true power. Just your essence, your energy, your vibration is your own power. The things that have manifested in my life, one was because I surrendered to God. And my life has never been the same since. And two, I let down and laid down a lot of my swords, my fighting, my fears. And my true power started stepping forward. There were things that I didn't really even have to say. It just came into my life. Simply because I shifted my beliefs. I shifted in how I chose to show up in the world for myself. I shifted that. It's a I work on it every day. It's not a place of arrival, but it's a place of awakening. And really in truth, once you've awakened and say yes, you really can't go back, even when you do stumble. Being able to unlock your own power, what does that look like for you? How have you sat in your own power? What have you felt threatened by or from? Who have you felt threatened by? to make you not feel that you can show up in your own power, in your own body, in your own truth? How can you give back your own power? Society talks a lot about fortitude, what we think power is, right? Fortitude, ah, what I'm not gonna take, ah, you know? And that causes from my experience more resistance, more the very thing that you don't want. What if power? And what I have found, what power truly is, is listening to God. What I have found, what power truly is, 
is not trying to prove something. But I have found what power truly is, is vulnerability. What I have found that power truly is, is allowing the things, the manifestations, the desires that you really desire and want to happen in your life. To see it physically manifest in your life without having the fear that you will lose it. What I have found that power truly is, is freedom, is healing, is what we truly desire. I remember thinking that I had to claw, you know, at the, at the wall and, and pry things down to get what I truly desired. And even to this day, I'm very mindful of how I show up in the world and how I move. Whenever I feel that anxiety or that fear or that I'm going to lose, I'm like, wait, no, I'm going to sit back. A lot of our power is resided in being, not so much in doing. We take action, yes. Yes, we take action. That's how I lost the weight. That's how I healed. But it really starts with a belief. It really starts with you tapping in and adhering to the truth of what power really is. Not what this world says. This world can tear you down if we allow it. It's a lot of garbage out there. It's a lot of other stuff that says of who we think we have to be. It's a lot of drama, a lot of trauma, a lot of fear, and a lot of good things. But a lot of what's in front of us are real moments, real R-E-E-L moments of what the truth really is it. And it, it's a distraction. I believe to not tap into your own power. I want you to, to invite you, I want to invite you to tap into your own vibration, your own choice, your own truth. Your own choice, your own truth, your own surrender. What are you surrendering to? That's power. If you feel that need to, <laughs> right? That's not power. That's you just scared. And it's okay. I've been there. <laughs> it's okay. That's why we're mindful. That's how I'm mindful now. Dropping the hand down over the heart. Resting in the truth of who you are. Showing up as that. Living as that. Being as that. Flowing as that. 